Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to see how we can fine tune an alpaca model. And also if you haven't watched my previous video on how to run an alpaca model on your local system, please do go and watch it. I will link down that particular video in the description. So let's just get started. So as we know, alpaca model is a fine tuned version of a llama model, which is our Facebook model. So alpaca model gives an ability to llama model to to behave something like chat gpt kind of model so if you if you want to develop a model that behaves something like chat gpt you can develop it by these methods that i'm going to show you in few minutes so this capability of developing a llama model and fine tuning it to make it an alpaca model is a recent in trend and then that's what we want to do it and if you have your own instructions data then how you can use it to fine tune your alpaca model that's the uh, thing that we want to do it. So they essentially uh, released a GitHub repo where they have uh, described each and every step, like how we can prepare data and how we can train a particular or fine tune a uh, LAM model to get a uh, alpaca kind of model for our own data set. So if we go into this particular repo, which is Stanford Alpaca, you can find uh, some, some information about the uh, data set that they have used and then what a kind of data that they have used for generating a data set and then how they are trying to fine tune the particular model. And if you go into their blogs, if, if you scroll down, you're going to see a particular training recipe that has been presented by them. So essentially what they do is they, they take up a self instruct data set, which is a uh, a human entity data, data set and they have generated a data set uh, based out of the some self instruction or uh, or self instructed way if you want to learn more about it you can just click on this particular link and then it's gonna lead you to a, this github page and you can learn more about like how this self instruct data set got created and it's a very interesting uh, paper to read about it so you can give a, a look upon it so they'd use this kind of uh, instruct data set and they give some set of prompts to this particular uh, GPT-3 model, and then they got, then they generate a set of more generative uh, samples out of the given uh, set of data, and then they uh, supervise this learning uh, by using a LAM model, and that's how the alpaca model got created, right? And you can see the examples of uh, self-insert dataset that they have used. Essentially, you can see there's the instruction that is given here and the output with respect to that particular instruction. So this is the data that they gave, that they gave into the particular GPT-3 GPT model to generate more dataset. And here is uh, the generated uh, instruction and the output got generated from the uh, DaVinci model that is GPT-3 model. So that's how they created more samples out of the uh, human entity samples. And that's how in the real scenario, we are going to do something or replicate something like this so essentially what you can do is if you have a set of an annotated data by humans you can take up the, this particular data in in this format of instruction and output and then uh, let's say you want to have a uh, instructed data for some kind of task and you want to develop a, a chat gpt kind of model right which can be uh, which can be an input and then you get a respective output for that particular query so you have you, you can prepare some human entity data set and then you can pass it to the da vinci model to generate more data set out of that particular data set that you have created and then you can uh, fine tune the llama model uh, which is a, a 7 billion parameter model or you can take 11 billion parameter model which is of uh, which which is of less in size compared to the other models and then you can supervise the training and then you can get a own you can get your own self developed model which will which will be essentially behaving something like chat gpt kind of model right so that's the beauty of this particular approach and it's still it is in development process because there are some limitations that are there in this particular approach like like in my in my last video also i have also talked about like it is uh, it is able to hallucinate and there are some uh, proprietary thing that you have to be applied like some filtration has to be applied while giving an output because there are some nuisance that model generally generate while while generating an output so that has to be taken care of internally but this approach is an start to our development of or fine tuning of such huge models and uh, we're gonna see an updated model or an updated approach once we uh, go further in this particular uh, process of doing things Right, so that's the process in development. But right now, let's see how this can be developed uh, and how it can, how we can use Alpaca uh, GitHub repository to train a, uh, a fine tuner model like this. So essentially, what it did was uh, 
they took a self seed data set right and they started to generate the the samples or generate more samples by using davinci right so what they did was they took an self insert data set that i showed you right here and then uh, they used a prompt that that was used to by a gpt3 to set some instructions to gpt3 like how we can uh, use that particular uh, instructions uh, and how we can generate a particular prompt based on the uh, the requirements that it has specified to the gpt3 so that's a requirement that is being specified initially to gpt3 so that it shouldn't hallucinate while generating the output so if you go into this repository the prompt that they used to set up and gpt3 is, is is in the text called prompt.txt and these are the requirements that they set up before they started to use gpt3 and once that is set up right uh, they they followed this process of uh, using an open a, open ai api key for gpt3 and they installed all the requirements and dependencies so if you also want to install these uh, dependencies you can use this and then they use this particular script to run a particular uh, uh, gpt3 model to generate more and more uh, samples or generative instructions out of it so if you go into this particular script uh, which is mentioned here in the github uh, if you see this generate instruction.py you can go into this and you can explore this out so uh, they have this encoded prompt uh, definition or method that they have used to encode the prompt that is being given so you you're going to impute or you're going to pass the uh, the data set that they are going to use right so they have used self insert data set so if you go down so they are gen generally using this uh, a main function that is uh, generate instruction following data so this is a main function for this which is taking up the data set here to see see task path so this is a data set that they have used uh, to generate more and more and data by using gpt3 so this is the function that they are using uh, and they are also using this script to run up this particular function and if you want to see that particular data set that they have used to generate more samples so this is a data set you can see like seed underscore task uh, json right so you can see that there is instruction available and they are going to forward these instructions and there is some input and output so this is the uh, raw data set that they have passed into the uh, gpt3 model to generate more and more samples right that's how this data set got uh, pass into the training script or you can say a generative script to generate more samples and then it gonna save uh, in the particular directory so once uh, you have this this step done like you 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 use this particular data set and you you generated more and more sample now the next step was to fine tune this lama model on the generative test right so for this they used uh, a script that is train.py script to to train the particular model on the generative text that they have generated using the uh, GPT-3. So these, these are the uh, steps that they're gonna take up and these are the processes that they're going to follow. And if you go at the bottom, you're gonna see that uh, there is a function called train. So they are going to they're going to use the hugging face arguments to to, to take up uh, the or to download the Lama model uh, from hugging face. But right now in transformers uh, or in the hugging phase the llama model is not available officially you might have to request it so for that you might have to go into the hugging phase llama and then here you, you can find that you have to fill out a particular form you click on this particular form you have to fill out this form and request for the llama weights once you have those weights downloaded then you have to convert that particular weights of that particular model into the hugging phase format and then from there you can start utilizing this particular uh, train train.py script so that that is essentially a way to do it because officially the llama model is not available but you can request and then you can get and wait for it weights of that particular model and then you can start uh, uh, fine tuning the particular uh, uh, approach that they have mentioned here right so this is a train.py script and once you once you have requested that particular model uh, from hugging face of filling out a particular form then you can use a uh, uh, a script uh, or you can run a particular script that train.py script by using this function or by using this uh, by, by using this particular cli command that is torch run and then uh, you have to install the requirements don't forget to install that particular requirements and then you can start uh, placing up your uh, train.py file uh, here then you can mention your uh, uh, converted llama model path uh, that you're gonna get it from llama model like from hugging base once you have this output path you can mention it here 
uh, here in this particular uh, command right and then you can uh, pass out the output directly like where you want to save the train model and then this is the data set path uh, that is got generated uh, so i didn't show you the generated uh, text right like what what are the generated text that got once you once you followed the first step right so let me show up this particular step that this is the generated test that that, you, that it has got generated so if you go into this particular GitHub repository, you're gonna see that this is a generated text that got generated uh, by using the self-insert data set and, and it's gonna take a few seconds to load up. So you can see this is a, this is a uh, generated text that got generated from GPT-3. It, it got instructions and input and output. So you may find some of the inputs are missing. So this essentially uh, instruction is essentially uh, the task that, that that you're going to do for that particular input and input is actually the the input given by a particular user and the output is generally the answer for that particular uh, query that you're going to pop up right so input is nothing like uh, let's suppose if you see this particular example identify the odd ones out and this is the input twitter instagram telegram so output is telegram so in input you generally give an options for this particular instruction and then followed by the output so this is the uh, input that generally is being given by a user itself uh, to set to to give an uh, to identify the set of things from that particular input right so this is why the input is useful and instruction is the set of tasks that you want to do and then output is the answer for that task so that's how uh, the data got generated by using the first step and then uh, we have to use this generated data set to train right so this is the script that you can use and you can uh, pass that uh, generative text or generative data that, that got generated and then you have to specify the train model path and then epochs and then further uh, fine tuning steps that you can mention uh, here the further hyperparameters so they use these hyperparameters to train a particular model maybe you can use that and then you can train this particular uh, fine tune that particular model right and don't forget to use the latest version of uh, transformers because they have mentioned that this particular requirement of downloading the lama model can be uh, can be done only when you install this stable version of a transform model so do do you do install this particular uh, transform model from the source and then start utilizing uh, this particular steps to train a or fine tune a particular alpaca model so i hope you you understood this process and this is these are the steps they generally followed it and they also uh, mentioned that this particular method can also be used to fine tune an OPT uh, 6.7 billion parameter model, which is another uh, model for generative uh, kind of thing. It's similar to LA model. So you can use that and it is being developed by the Facebook. So you can take a look on, on onto it. So it's another way to, to fine tune that particular model. So I think uh, this is the way that you can follow up on this and they have explain the things out in very detail so you can just go and have a walkthrough so this approach is great and we can develop a chat gpt kind of model which which understands our own data and with less amount of uh, resources that it is going to take up right and it will be cheaper a lot cheaper. so you must have heard about like uh, there are millions of dollars got spent on training gpt3 and gpt4 models but here they have mentioned that like it you can find in this model which is 500 of dollars maybe a less than 500 dollars model so this is how uh, the cheap it gonna be and training and fine tuning so and you can develop your own uh, chat gpt kind of model so and based on your own data set right so this is the beauty of this particular approach and it's gonna be improving in future so we're gonna have to look upon this particular or fo follow this particular approaches in future to understand and see how the things work in this generative ai world so i hope you enjoyed this particular video please do subscribe to the channel and also like this particular video thank you